Hi children, today we are going to read the Geese Noisy Sound Book with 18 brilliant sounds. Hey Dougie! We need Hey Dougie, Dougie's noisy sound book. Press the buttons as you read the story. It's another new day at Squirrel Club. Dougie is showing the squirrels how to make musical instruments. We are ready, Dougie, says Snowy. Dougie knows all about music and how to play it loud. He has got his noisy badge. You can make music with almost anything. Dolly blows up a big yellow balloon. Then he waits to be counted in. One, two, three. Shouts happy. Rolly lets the air out of the balloon. Oh. <laughs> what an interesting sound. Betty giggles. <laughs> that musical instrument is made out of two yogurt pots. Listen to my shaker, Dougie. Shake, 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 shake. Wow! Betty blows into a long roll of cardboard. I made a tubey thing. I can play it really loud. Betty's tubey thing is loud. But no drums are even louder. I made them from biscuit tins and saucepans. <gasps> bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. My turn, says Happy. He calls his instrument the Blinky Plums. Ooh. Huh? Sweet music. Ducky loves it. Sadly, any the cat does not. She meows at the squirrels until they stop playing. What's wrong in it? 
Ask Nori. And it jumps onto the windowsill and curls up into a ball. She closes her eyes and starts to purr gently. It must be her nap time. Rolly still has some yarn in his balloon. He lets it go one last time. Shh, whispers Tag. We mustn't be noisy anymore. Meows grumpily. Sorry, Enid, shouts Rolly. I'll be quiet now. The squirrels put down their musical instruments. And Enid slowly drifts off to sleep. Doggy decides to tidy up. The squirrels can play music again after Enid's cat nap. He plugs the vacuum cleaner into the wall and switches it on. That's too noisy. Ducky turns the vacuum cleaner off again. Hmm. Maybe tidying up is a bad idea. What can the squirrels do instead? I'm a bit thirsty, says Happy. And I'm a bit hungry, says Rolly. Ducky has an excellent idea. Delicious smoothies coming up. Ooh. No, no, no. No, Dougie, no. Not the blender. Dougie stops the blender just in time. Let's have water and toast, whispers Betty. But even water and toast can be rather noisy. Our drinks can be too sloppy, says Happy. And our toast is too crunchy. Stay quiet in the clubhouse. Lori and Rolly carefully get out the toy cars. Happy gently stacks the building blocks while Betty reads a book. And it burst happily. Suddenly one toy makes a very loud sound and it wakes up with a start Tag! shout the 
squirrels. Whoops! Tackles. I was just playing with my fire engine. Fire engines are too noisy for nap time. Sorry, Enid, says Tag as Enid settles back down. It's okay. She's going back to sleep, whispers Betty. Holy yarns. Oh, can we have a nap too, Dougie? Gets out the cushions and blankets. The squirrels curl up on their cushions. Soon the clubhouse is lovely and quiet. Until... Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Oh no, someone is ringing the doorbell. The squirrels get up and rush to answer the door. They don't want the doorbell to wake in it. Frog is waiting on the doorstep. Hello, what's up? Says Happy. Frog looks at the sky. It's grey and stormy. He wants to come inside. Do you promise you will be quiet? Says Nuri. Frog nods. Frog hops into the clubhouse. Luckily, Enid is still fast asleep. It is looking very dark out there, whispers Betty. Says Dougie. Just then, rain starts to patter the windows. Thunder rumbles across the sky. Enid's catnap is over. She sleeps down from the windowsill and hides behind Dougie's legs. Is she frightened? Says Nuri. Says Dougie. Yen it starts to shake. Poor Enid, says Happy. I wish we could help her. <laughs> then Betty has a brilliant idea. Play your balloon, Rolly. Rolly quickly blows up his balloon and lets the air out. The noise is even louder than the thunderstorm. And it stops shaking. Good thinking, Betty, says Nuri. If we make lots of noise, and it won't be able to hear the storm. The squirrels start playing their musical instruments as loudly as they can. Dougie switches on the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> K 
Keep going! Shout slowly, louder! The clubhouse gets noisier and noisier. The squirrels keep playing and Dougie keeps vacuuming until the storm passes. At last, and it begins to spur. She doesn't feel scared anymore. Well done, squirrels. You have definitely earned your noisy badges. Now, there is just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Doggy hug! It's very noisy in the clubhouse today, but it's time for and it's cat nap. Can the squirrels figure out when it is nice to be noisy and when it is cool to be quiet? Yes! Press the 18 brilliant song buttons as Dougie and the squirrels try not to wake in it. What will they do when a thunderstorm arrives? That was really a wonderful book, isn't it? Loved it enjoyed reading this book with you all see you soon on another one until then bye please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us we have got lots of books on peppa pig bluey hey Deggy, cookie milan and lots of puzzle books and lots of touch and feel books see you soon on another one bye